Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'd like to share with you how to create that LED panel effect in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve we're now on the edit page and here I have a clip in my timeline and I would like to apply that LED effect to this specific clip. To do that, I'm just going to right click on it. Here we're just going to create a new Fusion clip and we're going to move over to Fusion. Once in Fusion, I'm going to bring a new background and here I'm going to link the output of that background to the media in one. And then we're going to hit shift space on our keyboard and we're going to search for S rectangle. Let's bring that in. Then we're going to hit shift space again to search for S grid. Bring that in as well. And then shift space again and we're going to search for S render and bring that in. This is the shape tools inside of Fusion. If you want to learn more about it, I will link to another video in the description below. But that's what we're going to use to create our LED dot and create a grid out of it. So here I want to just take the output of the S render and link it to the output of the background just to merge it with our current composition. And now I'm going to go to the S rectangle. I'm going to right click on the width, select expression, and then I'm just going to link with an expression the width and the height. So now when we're reducing the height, the width is reduced equally. So that just helps us to keep a perfect square. Or in that case, because we want to have LED, which is going to make a circle, we can just increase the corner radius to the maximum and it will get circle instead. But depending on your preferences, you could choose anywhere from circle to rounded corner square to complete square. Right now, let's just go with circle. And here we're going to adjust the height to 0.005 to make it just a tiny LED light bulb. Then let's go over to S grid. And here we're just gonna make 200 copies and 200 copies. Then we're gonna adjust the two offset to 0.006 and then here 0.006 as well. And now we've created our LED grid. Now, if you wish to have those dots smaller or bigger, you can adjust that very easily by here, just moving everything aside, then select the S grid hit shift space on your keyboard again and search for S transform. Bring that in. Here, right click on the X size expression and then link it to the Y size, just so it's just retain the same ratio. And then you can just easily reduce the size of the dot or just raise it. If when you reduce it, you reach the limit, as you can see here, we start to have just a black bar. You can just extend here the number of copies. Then here you could increase that on the grid cell X to 300, for example. Right now, I'm just going to go back to the default that I had before. Now that we've created that grid, we need just to make it visible with the footage. To do that, we're going to go over to this Merge 2, and here we're just going to switch from Normal to Multiply. And now we've combined our footage and our grid. The only thing is that it doesn't really look like LED panel because we don't have a glow. So we're just going to add that here by selecting the media in, and then it shift space on our keyboard, search for Glow, and just bring that in again. Then here we can just reduce the glow intensity to just make it not too much and not destroying our image, but still strong enough that it just seems a bit more like a LED panel. Now, if I want to play it, as you can see, it's just going to play very, very slow frame by frame. And I have a pretty good computer, so you might just struggle a little bit. A good workaround for that is going to be to, instead of having DaVinci work and looking for every time the information on the S grid, the S transform, the S render, which overall take quite some time to cache you could just here export that grid and use the exact same process but just without having those modifications happening and slowing down the process to do that it's going to be very simple once you're happy with your led layout so here i'm happy with that i think it looks fine you can just right click on it and then you can just scroll down to save image here we're just going to rename it for led and then here we're just going to switch from all file to png file then i'm just going to hit save Sometimes it doesn't export right away for some reason. So just click again on DaVinci and just uh, hit play and it should be exported. Now that it has been exported, we can just take it and drag it here in our working area. And right now, instead of using what we've just used, I can just disconnect that and then connect my grid right there. Now, as you can see, we're keeping the exact same look, but now if we play it, it's just playing at real time playback. So if that's an effect that you plan on using often, I will recommend this technique. Just create the LED grid that you like as we just saw previously and then export that image and use that image instead. You will get way smoother playback and it will be overall easier to use. Now, one last tip, you can easily adjust the strength of the effect. Right now, it's very strong. But if you go over to the Merge 2 and here with the blend, you just reduce it. 
you're going to reduce the overall strength of that effect. So maybe you want something that is quite subtle and you can just achieve that right there with the blend mode. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in a comment what kind of video you would like to see next. And see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.